channel uh, welcome back to ghost wire and it looks like the after the end quest opened up after I cleared the Mikubo shrine Mikubo shrine now it's interesting enough also the shrine tells you how many Magatama Tanuki and Jesus statues that are in the area. So that's something I didn't notice before. It even tells you the KK, uh, tells you where KK's investigation notes are and um, how many spirits are in the area. So <laughs> as you can see, each one of these gates has a certain amount of um, spirits to be transferred, notes, and all of that stuff. So, unless I took a, unless I got a guide and just, you know, went in here and got every statue, it, it's easy to find the Magatama. The Tanuki may not be so easy to find. But um, unless I did, I didn't realize there was this much left to collect um, with each gate. And that one leads down to in here. So there's no telling, you know, there's one Tanuki and one statue in this area. But yeah, so I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I, if I do try and get 100% of the game, it, it, it can't be there. I, I, it, I, I definitely won't try and do it now. That's for sure. Um, but we have unlocked the last um, hey, quest that it's again. in that line. So let's see what that does. Then we're jumping on the bike and heading inside the tornado. I can't come up with much else. The only possibility I can think of is that she went to confront her dad and died. Which means there's no point in looking anymore. Thank you both for the help. I really appreciate it. Well, I won't argue if that's how you feel. But actually... I have one last place I want to check out. Stick around a little longer. KK. I'll lead the way, Akito. Let's get moving. I guess that's another thing, too. Like, I don't feel like they fleshed out... I don't feel like they fleshed out Rinko, Erika, and Ed enough. Right? And then they introduce Akito, who... Let me see... Taiko Drummer, approximately 500 spirits. Alright, fine, we'll head to the location that he specified. I'm gonna need some ammo. There's her psychic residue again. Oh, there she is. This is where she told me she wanted to learn how to fight. And nobody, like, showed her how to use her powers, huh? She seems extremely depressed, if I'm being honest. We did it. I think she's got something to say. Uh, 
Are we entering her, yeah, her mind palace or whatever you want to call it? Beats me. Better take a look around. Why does all these places have water? This is... <sighs> yeah, that's the picture with Erica's face blacked out in it for some odd reason. I do need the ammo, so I'll go ahead and do this. Wait, these are supposed to be other world objects. So why are they appearing? I guess these are real world objects appearing in the other world. Um, what am I supposed to be finding here? There's something blue up there. Huh. Something way up there. One of these doors open, maybe? I just heard something. Oh. That just reappeared. There's something here. It's probably Erika's. Let's show Rinko. Hey, we've got company. Oh, of course. Takes care of that. Now to report back to Rinko. So what? Oh, I was about to say, how do I get out of here? I'm trying to figure out what this actually means. Because Erica, apparently now they're saying Erica did die. And that she may have been killed by her father. Which I thought she was killed by her father all along, but... Cat keychain. Look familiar? I gave that to her. It's a device made to respond to ether. She told me she'd lost it somewhere. We argued about it. Where'd you find it? She came to me one day. Wanted to learn how to fight. So, I found a place where I could teach her. I found it there. She must have dropped it without knowing. She never told me. I guess she knew I'd object. She kept saying, 
and she wanted to fight alongside us. It had nothing to do with her father. She just wanted to help us, to be useful. And I just couldn't understand it. Shows you what I know. I'll always regret that. Ringo. Ringo. Who's that? Erika. Ringo. Please don't blame yourself. I know you were just trying to protect me. Thank you. Erika. It's me who should be thanking you. I guess this means things are okay between them. We were always close. Don't imagine that's gonna change. I mean, I have a choice now that she's no longer amongst the land of the living. And I guess that doesn't matter since KK's dead and Rinko's dead and both of them are here, so... Not saying my experience hasn't been fun, it's just been extremely tedious. So let's go ahead and do it. See what this brings. The Black Tower is complete. moving with a bike now. Why didn't you do that while you were on the bike, you moron? Now you're stuck in the fall. Show's not over. Hurry. Severance. Like a severance package? We've come this far. We're not leaving empty handed. I'm taking back Mari. <clears throat> Getting through this. Where did we end up? Where did we end up? I don't see our hold on. Where is our marker? This is where we are. It says R3 moves to player location. So how exactly are we going to get... Do we cleanse this gate? I forgot they didn't actually kill KK's the dude that's, that's Rinko. What is she doing here? Rinko.
This is where I died. Full of regret. But thanks to you two, I can put that behind me now. And you're taking off? I have to. I got nothing left keeping me here. Sorry I couldn't stick around. Till the end. It's alright. I can't quite bring myself to believe in the afterlife. Even though I'm like this. After all, if it were real, people would be happy to embrace death. Live. Embrace your life. Okay, Let's so then go. she must have been Arc. murdered. She must have been... Oh, okay, her so. clothes are going. I am about to say... It was all my fault. Erika so was what was world. keeping Ringo chained to this world. And now that things are settled, she had to move on. Is that gonna happen to you too? Probably. What did she do? That's what I want to know. What did she do that got everyone killed? Because if it was just trying to go after Erica, how is that her fault? It doesn't appear that Erica learning how to fight would have changed anything because you taught her how to fight and she still died and so did you. So, what did... Rinko do explain to me. Didn't you say he was trying to bring his family back? You heard him before. As far as he's concerned, bodies are just wrappers for the soul, pawns for him to use. There's no way we can avoid fighting her? No. Anyone on our way goes down. No exceptions. So I guess this is the wife. I have no idea what's going on. I'm jumping and I'm still getting hit, so...
you. I'm dead. So is that it? What the heck? Is this guy's end game? You got me. Can't say I feel sorry for her. You... Okay, I'm sorry. I know I to start through this scene, but... Correct me if I'm wrong. Did KK not explain his end game in the last chapter when he said he wants to bridge the spirit world and the physical world so that his wife and his daughter could come back and inhabit their bodies just like he's doing right now? I thought that was the end game. So now you don't know. Put her out of her misery. Father, I try. There's no going back right. after this. Are you ready Let's to proceed? I, I wouldn't have come in here if I wasn't ready to proceed. Did everyone here vanish too? Our guy's got to be lurking somewhere. Let's head up. trying to mess with your head. Hey, now what? Akito. Akito. Let's go. Lori. Why do I feel like I'm, I'm just going to hate? Don't let it rattle you. That's what the enemy wants. You're wrong. Snap out of it, Akito. Wow. Hey, you said I was yep. too bad earlier. Truth is, I'm not even close. I figured if I threw myself into my work, that'd be enough to protect my family. I barely ever even showed my face at home. It was like we were total strangers. Lately, when I bring home a toy for my son, he wasn't even interested. Didn't care about those supercars anymore either. Okay, okay. But I'm not gonna run from this fight. I'm gonna protect them no matter what. They're already dead. Bari! So that puppet failed to even buy me some time. The death of the body is a natural phenomenon. And in liberating our souls from their corporeal shells, we are returned to our true forms. Believe whatever you want, man. But we 
are you dragging innocent people? You cross the line! People always decry the truth when forced to face it. However... Soon you too will come to understand how meaningless these earthly vessels truly are. Keep your hands off her! I have all the souls that I require. I will use them to shatter the barrier between life and death. Your sister will be the final piece, a foundation for a new age. You should be proud. The fall of the barrier will presage the rebirth of the world. And then I shall create a new paradise, though modest it will be, a place where the souls of my wife and daughter will shine for all eternity. I've just come upon a wonderful idea. I shall create a paradise for this girl as well. Such a willful spirit as hers is a rarity indeed. Perhaps she will even lead this new world. A new Mary for a new age. No, a new Eve. Enough of your delusional. You're out of your mind. Am I now? Have you asked her? Why are you so certain that her spirit? wishes to return to this shell. I... Can you imagine what your sister endures beneath these bandages? Remaining tethered to this body will only prolong her agony. I'm sorry, but... If this ain't the dumbest plot know that. I've ever hey, seen. Don't listen to it. Kill him now, or the world is done for. And he falls to his knees like a... Akito! Get it together! The time is now. The world rests on the yeah. precipice of Just go ahead and kill everybody. A new way. Go ahead and take everybody's life. I really don't even care. Not much longer now. Soon, my dream will be made manifest. Okay. These I'm, I, I'm sorry. This dude has fallen. Whoever made this game, you have fallen since the Resident Evil series, and you didn't just fall gracefully. You fell hard. This has got to be the dumbest plot I believe I've ever come in contact with in a video game. First of all, who cares what Mari wants? This man not only killed 240 some thousand people, but eventually if this plan of his succeeds, he's going to kill every living being on the planet besides animals. Essentially creating Tokyo Jungle. But that's besides the point. Who cares what Mari wants? You're going to allow this idiot to merge the spirit world and the physical world just because you don't know what your sister wants. It doesn't matter what she wants. You're putting her life 
above the life of the billions of people left on the planet? I get it. It's family. But one life versus literally every other life that's on the planet right now. You know what? I've made up my mind. I'm not doing a... a I'm, I'm not finishing. I'm not 100% in this game. I'm probably going to uninstall it the moment this ending is done. Or this, this... I'm finished with this. I'm so done with this game right now. Uh, I, I, I can't... Words can't express how done I am with this game. Don't let him run. Which is why I'm just going to go Cut. ahead and... Now. Get up or I'll ditch you for good! Is that really all you got, Akito? I can do this myself. I'll kick my own- Akito, you just don't get in the way. So you're scared, right? Of how she might feel. Of finding out that maybe you did all this for nothing. You're afraid to hear the truth. What do you know? Nothing. I never even knew what my own family was thinking. That's why you need to go find out for yourself. Okay, okay. I'm not stopping now. Are you with me? I am. Let's go. I gotta ask her myself. You can't die yet. Some visitors are capable of separating Akito and KK from one another. Their attacks being separated will cause Akito to lose access 
To fuse back, regain your abilities, approach KK Spirit and press L2. If he's far away, you can also aim and press square to draw him closer to you. Okay, that did it. Nice job. <sighs> I'm just so done with this game right now. I got this. <laughs> Knew I lived fast, but I never thought I'd be off in myself. Let's move. Time for a jaunt into the abyss. Right. Let's go. I would have rather played as KK. I'm just gonna be completely honest. I'd have rather played as KK. So what was the severance here? What was the severance in the last chapter? Well, the abyss sure is bleak. I guess it'd be stranger if it weren't though. that sounds like water and you know what I'm wondering if she oh, says no, no I we'll don't do want to do that I want to go then we can see how the two of you are holding up someone's memories but whose let's say she does want to go with that dude but you gonna let her do it? I can't move. Well, I can't put the square up. You are gonna be a big brother soon. I don't really care about Akito's memories right now. I wish Akito had died and let KK just take over his dead body. Such a good girl, cleaning up after yourself like that. Are these my memories? Whose other mem who who else memory would it be? It's not KK's. Who whose other memory would it be? Huh? You just tell me if you have any trouble at school.
elementary school we went to. Why are you in a construction site? No, I'm going out with my friends. You just walk home by yourself. My memories and Maury's. So, not only are you trash, but you treated your sister like trash. So why do you care about her now? You didn't care about her back then. Nothing's talking now. Summer bargain. So I guess they're at the mall. You're seriously overthinking this. I am not. This is for mom and dad's anniversary. Something matching would be nice, don't you think? It all feels so long ago now. V plus P. Faceless people. Interesting. So I've been playing with an idiot this whole time. So I guess his mom passed away. Now I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna be real right quick. Uh, if this dude hasn't started this ritual yet, after Akito's taking all this time to go through memory lane. That you can talk.
I'm sorry, but I have lost all ability to sympathize with this dude and his situation after the jump y'all just pulled with him allowing that moron to finish his ritual. So I guess the father passed away before the mother did. So the mother was the second. A new beginning one. for us. Yeah, you're right. So the mother was the second one to go. Supposed to be a beginning. We're just falling further down. How far do these steps go? Don't be scared, you'll be okay. How much farther can we go? I'm sorry, was there a, I was about to say, was there a black orb over here just somewhere? You should have been done running like three chapters ago. I don't think I don't think a plot has ever annoyed me this much before. Um, not even Scarlet Nexus, and their plot was kind of bad too. This well, it wasn't so bad, but it was not what I expected. Oh, it's a house in the mountains. So, are we finally gonna fight? Just, 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 just wondering. This is it. Yeah, he's in there. And so is your sister. Finally, let's get in there, whoop him down. Oh, look at that. You ready? Took all that effort to open the door, so now what you gonna do to fight the guy?
And you're wearing KK's gear again, huh? I'm guessing all those things are souls. Such a shame it is. Neither of you can appreciate the wonders of the journey that awaits your loved ones. I came here to talk to Mari. You're not stopping me. Oh, and how will you do this? She has words to speak no longer. Stop it! Shut up, boy. You had plenty of time to save her. Way to go. Way to go. Because you had plenty of time to save her. Wait, why is he wearing KK's shoes? Let times flow. Jeez. What is happening? Okay, that would have definitely broken some ribs. Mari. Akito. Thank you for coming for me. I'm sorry. I... I wanted to apologize.
I was not mistaken. The two realms connected at last. When the souls of humanity are freed from their mortal prisons, they shall be made pure. I shall finally be made one with my family again. <laughs> He will exist in eternal paradise. <laughs> Unshackles of love and sorrow. <laughs> The end of the line. from parties! None! Can comprehend death! We can but unite! Interfere! Why? 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 
Well, he wasn't as difficult as I thought. The souls were trapped in here. Trapped? Does that mean? It does. They were only separated from their bodies. They should go back to normal now. What? Everyone. Except Amari. Look at this cap. So your parents' wedding bands is gonna bring her back to life? What's with these Man, that looks so real! Wow! It doesn't hurt. I'm gonna live. Even if it means feeling weak. You don't have to feel weak. You are weak. Finally learned how to open up to your family, huh? And here I thought you'd learn to be quiet. I gotta ask you for one last thing. Yeah? Talk to my wife and my boy. 
Tell them I never gave up. Not for a moment. I will. I promise. Hey. Sorry to dump that on you. I'd do it myself if I could, but I'm... I'm getting a little tired. KK. Don't get yourself possessed again, Akito. Most wraiths aren't half as charming as I am. Yeah, you're a real charmer. Can't get you out of my head. You ought to be grateful. Wait, so he's a wraith? So you're not gonna tell us how KK, Erica, and them. Oh, so there he is right there with his son. Oh, okay. So you're not gonna tell us how Rinko messed everything up and got everyone killed? You're not gonna tell us if Ed is still alive? Or explain how people's souls are just gonna come back? into uh, r reality I'm sorry this is hold on let me it says hold circle to skip I don't need to your Your Suchigumo Kifuda transformed into transmission beads. This item will be in your inventory when you either start a new game or load a completed save file. You require the following music tracks. I don't care. The, the music actually was pretty good. Your outfits, emotes, camera filters, and music tracks will carry over when starting a new game, excluding certain items. Do you wish to save? That's it. What does this mean? For events that would normally have a clock ticking down. I didn't even know you could do that. I'm sorry, but this has got to be the worst. The worst. All right, first off, so KK apparently lied again, right? Because at first, at first, he says he has no idea why they want Mari. He has no idea why I mean, what the, the Hanya dude's end game was. Then he turns around and in one chapter, after we meet Rinko, he all of a sudden knows this dude's wife was killed in an illness, with an illness. And he's trying to bridge the spirit world and the, and the 
physical world so that she could come back and inhabit her body again. And then, towards the final mission in the game, he yet again says he has no idea what this dude's end game is. Now, here's why I'm upset. The majority, like 95% of the game is side quests, fetch quests, and like little challenges to catch yokai. There's only like probably five to six missions in the game, main missions in the game. Um, the second thing that upsets me is the prequel the only thing the prequel serves with this game is telling you who KK is, Rinko, Erica, and Ed. That's it. They put more into random side quests than they did actually explaining what Rinko did to get everybody killed in the first place. They didn't they put more into side quests than explaining how everyone knew that this Hanya Mass dude was gonna put up a barrier around Shibuya. Because let's 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 remember through the things we found with Ed, the recordings and stuff we found with Ed and with Rinko, they knew this barrier was coming down and that this fog was going to hit Shibuya and and grab up all these people. That's why Ed was trying to tell everyone to meet at a certain station outside of the barrier. How did they know this? The game does not explain how they knew this man was going to do this. This Hanya Mask dude was going to do this. The game also doesn't explain who the Hanya Mask dude is. All they say is he's a guy in a Hanya Mask. And then they explain that his wife died and we know that, he, that he's Erica's father. We don't know we don't know what his face looks like. And again, Erica apparently has abilities like KK or had abilities like KK could have stood to to have a second person you know fighting the visitors with you in Erica but no apparently the Hanyamas dude just killed everyone now again they didn't explain how he they how they knew ahead of time that that barrier was going to hit and turn all those bodies into souls. Secondly, how was it Rinko's fault that Erica ran back? Are they trying to say that because Rinko wouldn't let her fight all those other times, it's her fault that she got the urge to want to go in and fight with KK and prove herself quote unquote useful? Because that makes no sense. So, thirdly, or fourthly, I don't even know which one I'm on now, so I'll just say the next one. KK was the main character of the prequel. It feels to me like he could have went into anyone else. In my opinion, he was better off going and getting a body out of the morgue because the visitors can go through physical stuff so he should have been able to he should have went to the hospital and got a body out of the morgue if he'd have done that I feel like Shibuya would have been better off because this moron decides at the last moment let me think about what like 
billions of people's lives or billions of lives are at stake. Let me find out what my sister wants because if she wants to bridge the spirit world and the physical world, then perhaps I should let her do that, even if it will kill billions of people, including myself. Maybe, maybe I should just let it happen. Who thinks like that? I'm sorry, but who thinks like that? That m I'm so, I'm so irritated right now because I spent, I feel like I spent $60 for nothing. For seventy dollars for nothing. Um, the story, like I said, the story is all over the place. Akito, he lost his father, he lost his mother, and apparently, he lost his sister a long time ago. Like the fact that Mari, so Mari was already dead when the Hanya mask dude was taken away, because. At the end of the game, as you saw just now, she said, the only thing that was keeping me here in this world was hearing you say that. But it's not your fault. I went back for the rings. The, 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 the rings of our parents. There was our only memento. I went back for them, and that's what happened. The, 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 the house caught on fire, and... Uh, apparently she died in the house fire and he got into a car accident on the way to see her in the hospital because he was too much of a moron to stick around after his parents died he wasn't much of anything when they were alive but now that they were gone he still wasn't much of anything but uh yeah, apparently, when he got in the accident on the way to see her in the hospital, she's already dead in the hospital. So, it... I did not like the ending, but I didn't like... The only things I liked about the game was the combat. I think the combat was pretty good. Um, the combat uh, was fun, but when the monsters become, you know, elemental sponges, even that becomes tedious. To the point where even the main K, even KK, was like, this is tedious, you know? But I can't believe the ending of this game. The fact that Akito gives up and allows this dude to even start the ritual. And then wants to get upset when he starts using the lightning to shock Mari's body. He wants to get upset. Dude, if you hadn't fell on your knees like a coward, he'd have never got that far. I just now the one thing I am also glad about with this ending is that all the souls went back to Shibuya well I guess all the ones that did not die a natural death went back to Shibuya so uh, I don't know how and they didn't bother to explain how but they they apparently went back. Now, another thing that I guess after after playing this game, I can't really say is a positive note, but it is a note nonetheless. And that is, um, there's no telling what the future holds with this game because. Or, or with this, if this may may become a franchise, like if you notice, the game's called Ghostwire, and then there's Tokyo. 
So, I mean, does this open up the possibility, at least in the world that is Ghostwire, Tokyo, does this open up the possibility for, say, Ghostwire France or Ghostwire New York or Ghostwire Los Angeles? Because one thing I did notice, which was pretty cool about the game, um, was that there were urban legends in there. There were creatures in there that were based off of real urban legends. Um, one of which being, I believe her name is Kuchisake Ona, which is the urban legend of the lady in the mask who was supposedly beautiful except for the fact that she has a scar or a slit from ear to ear on her face. And if she catches you, uh, she'll ask you the question, like I mentioned in the other video. She'll ask you the question if, she, if you think she's beautiful. If you say no, she kills you. If, she say, if you say yes, she gives you the scar with, with whatever. And it varies whatever sharp object she has. But she'll cut the scar in your face and then leave you alone. So, I mean, that's, it's an urban legend, cryptid, whatever you want to call it. And there were a few others in there too. Um, I just didn't, I, I didn't have a chance to look them up, but I'm pretty sure they were there. Um, and I, I wonder if like this leaves room for like say a ghost wire in like, I don't know, United States where, you know, the Mothman, they deal with the Mothman or Urban legends from the U from the U.S. Urban legends from Mexico, Canada. It opens the door, right? At least in this universe. I'm not saying that these urban legends are real. I'm just saying that it opens the door in this universe anyway. Um, to more urban legends from all across the world, from different cultures. Uh, but hopefully they're done. The story, their stories would be told in a much better way. Uh, I was rooting for Akito saving Mari from the jump. I didn't too much care about KK because his attitude was pretty bad. But I was rooting for um, Akito to save Mari from the jump. And then all of a sudden, the fact that he just gives up at the very end. He gives up and allows the man to take Mari and start the ritual. When he did that, I lost all care and concern. Now, I know what the, the developer was trying to do with the producer. They were trying to tug at your heartstrings. And especially with going through all the memories of the mother dying and the father being dead and all of that stuff with the sad music. They were trying to tug at your heartstrings, make you care for Akito more. After he fell on his knees like a coward and surrendered to that guy, I lost all respect, I lost all care, I lost all concern for him and his character. As you, you heard, I was clapping when he succeeded in opening the gate and, and bridging both worlds. Because Akito didn't deserve to win. He was a he's a quitter, he's a he's a coward. And if it weren't for for KK, billions of people would have died. So I'm gonna have to go calm down. And I'll, what I'll probably do is I'll probably look and see if there are multiple endings. If there are multiple endings Again, I am not playing through this game again. I'm not doing a new game plus, and I'm not going back to the previous save and unlocking everything. It's just, in my opinion, if that's the ending, it's not worth it. Um, if that's the ending, it's not worth the money. Wait until it goes on sale. And even then, get it if you don't mind doing some modern day ghost style Assassin's Creed side quest 
and, and map exploration. You know, it, it, it's Elden Ring is one thing because the side quests kind of have a story of their own. And the story fits in the atmosphere. What's, it fits in the environment. But you tell me, and I keep going back to it, but it, it, it's not without reason. You tell me why a ghost, an ethereal being that can go through walls, does, has no reproductive organs, has no organs whatsoever that would, would require doing a number one or a number two, why would it need toilet paper? A, there was a ghost there was a ghost that uh, was apparently she was waiting on her boyfriend to meet her when the fog hit. And after the fog hit and, and her body got turned into a soul, uh, she stayed there in that spot. And she was like, well, I can't pass on to the other world um, until I meet my boyfriend. I want to know what happened to him. And you find out that the boyfriend went to, he, he was assigned to go to some building that was supposedly cursed. And he was forced to stay there. And uh, basically what ended up happening is there was a, a specter there that would curse anyone that came in. And if once you cursed, you have to stay there until you die. And once you die, you become a specter. And you have to force someone else to die who comes in in order for you to leave. And so the boyfriend became a specter, and he didn't want to kill people, so he was stuck in that building. So we saved him, he meets the girlfriend, they vanish off and go into the other world. Now you tell me, what does that have to do with this man uh, potentially killing billions of people by merging the physical world and the spirit world? Like, and then I, I'll, I'll leave it with this. The main plot of the story is contradicted heavily. Now, what I mean by that is this. The Hanyamaz dude, he did all of this. He killed 200 and some thousand people. Well, let me, let me rephrase that. He transferred 200 and some, 240 some thousand souls in Shibuya. I mean bodies he transferred them into souls or spirits so that he can bridge the gap between the physical plane and the spirit plane just so that he can get his wife's soul back and they can live together forever because essentially what he was creating was the land between the lands between from Elden Ring where you can't die since the spirit world and the physical world will be joined, you won't die. Everybody will just live forever. And if you're in pain, you just be in pain until you're not. You know, that type of thing. But then he goes on to say, uh, the physical body is nothing more than a shell. It's a prison. A prison for the soul. So you should want to leave your physical body so that you can be eternally free. So if that's your pitch, why in the world would you try and bring your wife's soul back and put it into that prison again? Your daughter's soul back and put it into the prison again? It makes no sense. It contradicts your very uh, motive for what you're doing. Unless... Unless I'm misunderstanding the plot, and I probably am. But I paid heavy attention to the plot. So if I, I feel if I'm misunderstanding it, a lot of other players will too. But I feel like he contradicted everything that he was 
play he was doing in the first place. He contradicted it all because if if you detest the human body, if you detest flesh that much, why are you trying to eternally put your life back into hers? You're talking about you're going to create a world where everyone can, where you and your family can live in peace forever. Guess what? That world already existed. It was the other side, right? Because spirits were passing on to the other side once you complete their side quest they were passing on and living in peace so all you had to do was leave your quote unquote prison instead of killing 240,000 people leave your prison and go to the other side and be with your wife and your daughter as spirits quote unquote and live forever so, essentially, this is what he did. He said, I lo he, he lost his wife to an illness. And then apparently he lost his daughter. So he said, I'm going to make a way for them to come back. I'm going to make a way for their spirits to come back and, and, and inhabit their bodies and, and live forever. Even though our bodies are, are prisons, I detest it. Everyone else should too. Let's all just leave our bodies and, and become ethereal beings. Because that's the better form of us anyway. That's our natural forms anyway. So, again, if, this, if, if that was your goal, why are you trying... You trying to bring your wife and daughter back and putting them back into their flesh bodies contradicts your very point that you have from the beginning of the game. And one other thing. What was the point of Mari? It was never explained. What was the point of Mari? For some reason... Mari not only stayed in the physical realm after she died in the fire, according to the end of the game, after she died in the fire, she never left her physical form. Her physical body stayed there. And then, uh, at the end, when he tried to merge the... the spirit world and the physical world she somehow gained the ability to knock him into that hole effortlessly like she had the power to just completely destroy him without any effort at all so where did she get this from there's no indication that her father or her mother had these special abilities. She couldn't have gotten it from Akito. So where did Mari get this ability from? He even said at the beginning of the game, you touched the other side, quote unquote, and yet you still kept your physical form. You're special indeed. Why? The game never explained why she was so special. It never explained why she was able to gain the ability to not only stop the ritual temporarily, but knock down a dude who Akito and KK couldn't even get close to. But she knocks him away without even budging, like with her, with her power alone, like her energy field alone. She just knocks him away effortlessly. And then, uh, like I said, there, there's no room left for a Ghostwire 2. Or a, uh, let me say this. There's no room left for a Ghostwire Tokyo 2. Because, well, I mean, there, there probably is. But you'd have to explain, again, how KK got his powers. You know he touched the triangles. 
but if, I mean, can someone else touch the triangles and get the powers that uh, that that KK had? Do, do, are the spirits still there? Are the visitors still there? Who are the visitors? That's another thing they didn't explain. I get it. The the visitors formed based off of feelings from the people who used to be there, right? Um, the workers, the, the, the male visitors with the umbrellas, they said they were manifested by, off of the feelings of workers who, workers who were stressed, businessmen who were stressed and having to work overtime and all that other stuff, right? So since they're not souls, does that mean that they will always be there? And if so, how can KK, I mean, uh, Akito, fight them off without any powers? It's just, and, and again, in the prequel, you saw that the visitors were there, you know, before he put the, the barrier up and, and sucked up all the souls. So, uh, again key takeaways the plot was all over the place um and it never made sense to me it, that's why i say to me it never made sense it may make sense to someone else it never made sense to me there were too many plot holes too many unanswered questions that i already went over so there's that um and the second thing is at least um, this leaves room for this leaves room to this leaves room to make this game a franchise, right? You could say Ghostwire Tokyo now. Uh, the next game doesn't have to be Tokyo Two. It could be Ghostwire New Mexico. I mean Ghostwire Mexico, or Ghostwire New York, or Ghostwire Los Angeles, and then just. You know, look, wherever urban legends are, just put Ghostwire and then that place where those urban legends are. As a matter of fact, well, you can't do that because Konami will be throwing that, going down your throat. I was thinking about they could have actually done one off of Silent Hill considering Silent Hill is based off of a real town in the United States. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's actually a... And like I said, the reason I say I don't know if that's a... I can't say that's a positive note. Is because this story was written so poorly, in my opinion, that I can't imagine them doing better um, in a story from, I mean, based on other urban legends and stuff. You know, I can't imagine them doing better uh, in a with another game, you know, another Ghostwire game set in a different country. Uh, but yeah, that's my thoughts on the game. Um, after playing it, after playing it, let me, how long? Let's see if it didn't say, yeah, well, yeah, so, after playing for 21 hours and 25 minutes and 21 seconds, I will say this. I do not feel, even with all the side content this game has, I do not feel like it is worth a new purchase of $69.99. Um, yes, there are a ton of side quests and stuff to do, but they're all repetitive and tedious. The combat is fun and interesting, but again, it is very tedious and can get repetitive. And on top of that, on top of all of that, um, like I said, the, the plot is all over the place. The one major takeaway from this game is like everything from the food to the items and even the enemies 
appear to be like tied to Japanese culture. So you could you could go in there and look up a lot of there. I mean, each each food uh, item, each food item and drink item actually as well um, have an explanation of uh, what they are in Japan and what they're made of and 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 you know if they're popular or not. So that's that's. Um, it, it does give you a lot of uh, things on Japanese culture, but as I mentioned earlier, um, the main quest only consists of like I would have to say maybe six or seven quests. Everything else is side quests. So if you don't mind doing all those side quests and stuff, you're fine. Um, but like I said, I mean, I've already, I've already went over my problems. So I'll end it by saying this: um, I give the game, if I had to, if I had to give it a rating out of ten, I would give it a seven and a half. Because just because I don't like the plot does not mean someone else won't. I mean, we, uh, d yeah, just just because I don't like it doesn't mean everyone else won't like it either. And just because I don't like the plot, I can't take away points from the game for that. So I, I, I actually, I would give it a six. I, I, I'll give it a six point five out of ten. Mainly because. Uh, if you just do the main plot of the game, you at least get a story that's from beginning and it, a it actually has an ending. Even though I don't like the ending, it actually has one. So, um, you're not like waiting for DLC or waiting for part two or anything like that. It closes Akito's story, it closes KK's story. So I will give it props for that. And that is going to be it for me. And that is going to be it for Ghostwire Tokyo. Um, overall, I have to say it was a disappointment. Um, I expected it to be a horror game, and it was not. Uh, at least not in my opinion, it was not. And um, it was more action than horror. It was more... Yeah, it... it I, it, 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 I expect it to be more around the realm of Resident Evil 1 and 2 as far as creep factor, but it was not. So, yeah, uh, that is going to be it for me. That is my opinions on the game from what I've played through. Uh, as of right now, there will not be any more videos on it. I'm not going to go back and do anything. As I mentioned before, I'm not going to do a new game plus. Uh... So yeah, that's going to be it. Um, as far as future content is concerned, um, there will be more Elden Ring on the channel. Um, I'm getting close to beating that. And um, again, it will depend on New Game Plus with Elden Ring if I do another, another run through of it or not. But that is going to be it for Ghostwire Tokyo. Um, who knows, it might not have been a disappointment for you, but it was a disappointment for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the, the playthrough, though, and, um, yeah, that is going to be it. Consider leaving a comment, tell me what you think about the ending of the game, if you made it this far. And, um, you know, I hope you consider subscribing, because we're going to have quite a few games in the future coming up uh, on the channel. Both PC, PS5, and mobile, so... Yeah, going to be good times. But until then, you guys know what to do. Always and forever, stay blessed.